yes. Okay, so we are gonna be oh, we are gonna be drawing Bugs Bunny, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in the most easiest possible way that I can. I'm not at all prepared. I haven't chosen a picture, and I haven't chosen my paper. I'm gonna get that right now. Okay, now I'm gonna be choosing a notebook. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> wrong door again. There we go. So I think I'm gonna go with this sketchbook here. It's pretty big, but it's also good for like the video. Um, I could go with a smaller sketchbook. Example, this one here might be good. I still have some pages left in there. Yeah. Okay, I went with the smaller sketchbook just because I feel like it would be easier to film with this. And I've also chosen my image. It's a pretty simple one. I want to make this as easy as possible for you guys. And me. Okay, we're going to be freehanding this. So yeah, take with that what you will. Uh, I like to start with like the top and the bottom. And so I can just kind of work my way in the middle. That way I don't start the drawing and I go off the paper and I go too big or go too small, especially when you're freehanding something. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off where I'm going to put the ears. And I think I'm going to make it to like the bottom. So this is going to be like that bottom square. Hopefully I can insert a picture. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to start off with the ears. Am I recording? Yes, I am. With the ears, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make this like... You don't have to go fast. Calm down. This like swagger thing right here. Like, you know, you know what ears look like. Do not go crazy. They're just ears. Now, they kind of look like leaves. Long leaves. You know, thin and then long. You know what I'm talking about. I was like, oh my gosh, there's smoke in my room. It's a candle. It's literally the candle that I lit two seconds ago. I need to calm down. That's his second ear. It looks like two leaves right next to each other. Or two bananas. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever helps. Whatever helps, guys. And by the way, it does not need to look just like the image. It's a cartoon drawing of a cartoon. So he changes every single time. Every time he's drawn, he's gonna look a little different. It's all right. The thing is you wanna capture his essence, his character, and you're gonna wanna like border him, his ears like this, just like I did right there. Perfect, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let's start on his head shape, which kinda looks like a bell, to be honest. Yeah. Just make like three of those like little wisps in the corner. All right, I'm gonna go back up to do his eyes. So it looks like his eyebrow is just one line. Thank you, easy for me. I can't do my own eyebrows. What makes you think I can do Bunny's eyebrows? Not at all. Now I'm gonna do his first eye right here, which I see there's like a, a gap, so. Got this first olive looking eye that he's got. It's a gigantic eye, bugs. No wonder they call you bugs. Some gigantic olive looking eyes. Oh, his nose is so cute. It's this little, it's this little pink little thing. It's this little button thing. It's so cute. It's so button little thing. It's so adorable. Look at how I did it. It's so cute. Make another olive looking eye shape thing. Make a little round. I didn't make it round enough. Make a little round and meet it right, right there with the nose. Jeez, bugs. I don't even, I don't know how this is going to turn out to be honest. I love to film the eyes last because they really complete the picture at the end. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the eyes for last. Make sure you leave a little white there and you fill in the, the eyes last. Okay. I'm gonna put a little line up here, I don't know, for like, character, I don't know. Now we're gonna work on his mouth. Now you're gonna go from his little cute little nose, little cute little nose, and then you're gonna, you're gonna make that, that dog thing that we used to do when we were kids and we all drew dogs and it would look like that. Ew, bugs look so weird, ew. I'm not liking this, guys. I'm not liking this. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whoosh. And then I think I needed to make his eyebrow a little taller. And his eyes just a little bigger. There we go. Eyes just a little bigger. There we go. There we go. 
All right, now. From here, you're gonna do his whisker. And you got three of those babies, so you're just gonna go pa, pa, pa. Okay, <laughs> just like that, pa, pa, pa. And before you do the third whisker, I recommend doing the mouth just so you can have like a little bit more. You just do the mouth a straight line right in the middle of his cheek and then give it a little room, give it a swoop down, kind of like a, a J, but come up and then stop right there. And then you're gonna do another swoop down from like the little butt cheeks that you made. <laughs> and you're gonna make that teeth. Make sure to keep them straight. And you're gonna meet the, the mouth right there. There we go. Ha, you guys know how to make a tongue, right? We'll have to explain that to you. I'm just kidding. It's another butt cheek and it's gonna go right there in his mouth, duh, that's a tongue. Okay, so now you can move on to the whiskers. I just didn't want y'all making the whiskers and then they're being out of place and you have to worry about them anyway. Um, boom, these are longer ones, pow, pow. Pow. Don't go into your mouth with the whiskers. Just, you know, just give them some space. Don't want to make them too long. Make them even. That looks good. All right, moving on. All right, next we got Bugs' neck. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> we're gonna do his neck. All right, so we're just gonna go. It's His neck is smaller than his mouth, so just keep that in mind when you're positioning this whole thing. It's like, a little bit wider than his tongue, but smaller than his mouth. So if you, need to, if you need help positioning stuff, just think of it like that. Like how big is the mouth? Is it wider than the eyes? Or like, just try to position things. Like, is it is it like in the same area as the ears? Yeah, you gotta think of it like that. Oh my God, it's actually starting to look like Bugs Bunny a little bit. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> Me drawing. Okay, sorry, back to his neck and <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna work on his shoulder a little bit, you know, a curve, just a curve right there. It doesn't go too far out. I'm gonna go straight down into, I think I made this part down here too low because I don't think it's gonna work. Ooh, my computer said we're done helping. So we're gonna curve it right there. I don't know, I just feel like that's a good length. Or is that like not big enough? I don't know, we'll figure it out. And then you're gonna do like, once you do like this big swerve right here, this like half of a rice ball, half of a J, half of a paper clip right here, you're gonna wanna make a smaller one on the inside, half a triangle right here. But again, it has to be like with this kind of like roundness, cause it's an arm. It's not like an actual geometrical shape. So you can go ahead and make the lines here that go into the hand. Oh, I think I made his arm a little bit too skinny. Actually, no, it's fine. I'll leave it like that. Just curve it a little bit to make it wider, I guess. There. There. Eh, it was, eh it's fine. Okay. We'll do the bunny hole at the end. Okay. So, from his neck, you got the white part of his neck. You got the, This is the gray part here, and you're going to have this white part. It's going to go straight down with a slight curve to the right. And it's gonna meet his mitten right here. His like hand mitten, whatever, whatever that is. And you got his chest that curves out a little bit. Just a little, not too much. And then uh, I think I may have curved it out a bit too much. The tiniest adjustment and it looks so much better. With his second arm, that's where I can like use that. Go all the way down, curve up just a slight bit. Make that line and then tilt it upwards. Bruh, if y'all are messing this up, I can't. I can't believe we're freehanding this right now. Whose idea was this? His, his hand kind of thick here. Just cut it all off, make sure it's all even. Okay, now he's got his guantes, his mittens on. Let's, put, let's add those so it's gonna be like a little round line. It's a roundness. It's not sharp. And his hands are huge. His hand is bigger than his face. His hand is like a whole baseball mitt. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I want to make his hand that big. 
I, his hand is like all the way up here, like near his whiskers. Okay, well, I'll just try to draw it. She, okay, that does not look right. It's a little bit better. But I'm gonna have to make his arm a little bit longer just to meet the criteria. Dude, your hand is huge. This defies all logic, the heck. Okay, he's got like a second. And a third finger. That's it? All right, well, I'm not gonna argue with you. Oh, okay, that doesn't look bad. That looks terrible. But look, we'll, we'll fix it. They kind of look like grapes. You wanna draw some grapes there, you can. This was hard. The whole Cheeto, his hand, okay, his giant thumb here looked like a Cheeto, and then it curves into like a boat, and then he got another Cheeto looking thing over here, and he's got two grapes for his other fingers. Good luck with that. Anyway, we're almost done. We just got to add the rabbit hole. Yo, that's not bad for freehand. Yo, that's not bad at all. Good job, guys. Yay. Okay, now I have some incredible markers here and some colored pencils. So let's get it. Um, How do I not have a gray colored pencil? How? I found a gray. Please don't judge it. Now, Bunny is super easy to draw, to color because he doesn't have a whole lot of colors and he doesn't have a whole lot of shadows or details either. He's pretty solid. So thank you, Bugs and the Warner Bros design team or whoever the heck came up with you. Cause that makes it easier for us. Kind of boring on your part, sorry. But again, easy for us, yay. By the way, this colored pencil is awful. Like it's literally the worst. I don't know what's wrong with it. It feels like it's covered in glue and the color's not really coming out too good. It's what we have. Actually, I think I might actually have another gray colored pencil somewhere in my other colored pencil set. But am I about to go look for that right now? No. So this is what we have. Okay, now that we're done with the gray, let's move on to other colors like pink and red, the only other two colors. I think I have, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna be forced to use this, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna like shade in. Dang, that's bright, the heck? Did not expect that to be that bright. Well, at least our bunny's gonna be slightly bright. Try it alone. Okay, I should have just done it by itself because look at the difference. Whatever. It's fine. And let's do the tongue. Pink tongue. Whatever. I'm going to do another shade up here. This is ruby red. Do we have a regular red? Oh, maybe if I add brown, it'll like... Uh, that totally ruined it. Oh, that's black. Good job, Joe. Yeah, totally ruined it. <laughs> Just gonna add a bit more pink. See if I can fix that. By the way, guys, the colors I've chosen today are disgusting. Please get better colors than what I have. Please, I beg you. I found, I think, a lighter brown. Might work. Ooh, nice, okay. Okay, now let's move on to black. That's the one that I'm really here for. I'm gonna go ahead and use the black marker that I have, which is this one right here. Super excited about it. Oh, I didn't know this was in the way. Not only am I gonna trace everything, but I can now do the eyes like I talked about earlier. Yay. I forgot to do the nose. It's okay, I'll do it now. And that is the finished product. Yes. I 
I hope you guys this turned out really really good this is the original and this is mine yeah I think I made the right eye a bit too big it's fine it's fine the point is we made some art today and it's really really cool and I love it so um please go like and subscribe I love you guys so so much if you made this Go post it on Instagram. Tag me at Josedak J. Love you guys so much. Go follow on, on TikTok as well. Love you guys. Bye.